morning, everybody, and welcome to Kids Face Live. Choo choo! Chugga 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 choo choo! Hi, Pastor Chris. Hey, good morning, Kids Face Live. We're glad you're here with us today. And I am all excited about online VBS, which is coming your way on a track near you really soon. Yeah, really soon. When's it starting? June 9th, every June Tuesday 9th. for five weeks. They're going to get a new release, about one segment each week, and it's going to be super fun. Yeah, so this is an online family experience, and you can register online or on our app. If you look, there's a um, section for events. You can go there, go ahead and register, and all the information you need is there. But I will let you know, every child who's participating will receive a, basically like a bag. And in that bag, you'll Their have Their get on track bag. bag. That's right. So we hope you join us. So speaking of fun, it's time for our verse. So everybody needs to stand on up. And get your lettuce. Get your lettuce, yep. oh man. Are I'm sure they're getting their lettuce. Oh, I got you three. You got three. All right, you yeah. got two. I got one. Okay. Let us. Let us. Not become. Not become. Tired. Tired. Of doing good. Of doing good. At the right. What do we do? At the right. right at the right. right at the right. right. Time. Time. We will gather a crop. We will gather a crop. If we don't give up. If we don't give up. Galatians 6. Galatians 6. Dot, dot. Dot, dot. Nine. Nine. Well, good job, everybody. I hope you really have taken that verse to heart this month. It's a super important verse because there's some tough things going on out there. Well, switching to our challenge and hard things to do, yep. Meatloaf catching blueberries can be challenging at times, <laughs> but he loves doing it. And that was our challenge from last week. Yep. How many blueberries could Meatloaf catch in a row? He actually didn't do as well as I think he could have done. So some of your guesses were probably right on, but he actually only did... Well, 11. 11. He did 11. But he loves his blueberries, as you know. And I think we have two winners, right? We do. Yep. All right, are you ready for a drum roll? Let us drum roll. All right, so winners are? Winners are. Elementary winner is Nevaeh. Nevaeh, awesome. Good job. And our preschool winner is Joshua. Woo Joshua. Good great job, work. guys. So proud. You keep it up. Keep your emails coming in to Miss Darcy. All month long, we're looking at determination, deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. Now, today we're talking about Philip, and he's one of the disciples. He was one of the first Avengers! Uh, hi, Miss Garcerini. What are you doing today dressed up like that? You I look... heard we were talking about Philip. Philip. And I did a little research, and I learned that, you know, Captain America, well, really, it was Captain Philip before there was ever any Captain America. Captain Philip. See, notice, Phillip. look how easy we, can you can you see here? I can see, it's Just, a P. Yeah, well, see, that's but it, right. it looks like there's a little tape that <laughs> marked off the First a. it was a P before it was an A. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Mr. Arserini, you're gonna help me uh, teach the lesson today, is that correct? As always, Mr. Chris. Well, we're going to have some great help today. Well, we're talking about I'm Philip. Falling apart. Okay. And Philip was in Samaria, and he's was... Captain Philip. No, he's not Captain <laughs> Philip. Okay. Now, Philip was in Samaria, and he was doing some amazing, miraculous things. Dun, dun, dun! And do you know how he did these amazing, miraculous things? Do you know how? It's because he had healthy food. I know it. Healthy food. That day. When he did a miraculous thing, yeah. he was certain to have an apple. He ate an apple? That's how he did miraculous things? I hope so. Uh, Miss Darcerini, that's wrong. Now, Philip, being a disciple, was with Jesus, and Jesus told the disciples to go back and receive the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit would give them power to go make other disciples and go do miraculous things through the power of Jesus, not through the power of It matters what you eat. The apple. It does matter what you eat, but it was not specifically the apple that uh, was healing people and doing miraculous things. All right, Miss Sarserini? Okay. So then an angel comes to Philip and says, I want you to go down the desert road. And so Philip, what are you doing? I'm going down the desert road. It looks like you're doing the waltz. And I'm sure I was eating a banana as I did. You were not eating a banana. The Bible says nothing about a banana in our lesson today. 
delicious. Delicious. Well, bananas are very good. They're very healthy for you. They give you lots of nutrients. They give you strength and power. Boom. <laughs> All right. Well, as Miss Tartarini is eating her banana, let's go back to our lesson. And Philip is going down the road, the desert road, going down, and all of a sudden he sees a chariot. Right. Power up. Power up. A chariot. Carrot. <laughs> a carrot for powering up. All right. Well, as he looks at the chariot, I really had to he run to find that chariot to catch it. The, <laughs> well. With your superpowers, you could probably catch it, but Philip exactly. was Philip Captain was the Holy Philip. And he went up to the chariot, and there was an Ethiopian royal official who was in the chariot, and he was reading from the Bible. Yes, he was he reading was. from Isaiah. Yes. And as he was reading from Isaiah, he was reading some prophecy yes. about Jesus. And what do you got? Captain Philip, Captain Philip asked him if he was confused. And he was. And so I'm sure he went into his tandy dandy lunch bag and pulled out an orange. No. And that helped him tell the Ethiopian man yeah. what it was he was confused about. All right. So the Ethiopian ruler well, was confused. Day, which I had lots of oranges. No, the Ethiopian ruler was confused about what he was reading in the book of Isaiah. So you were correct there. However, the Bible does not say he pulled out an orange to power like orange? up. I will pass on the orange, maybe later. So he No superhuman powers for you today! Alright. Boom! <laughs> Miss Darcerini is full of herself today. Alright. So as he dis discussed and explained what yes. the scriptures meant yes. to the Ethiopian, yes. the Ethiopian's eyes were opened up and he's like, wow. And Philip was able to explain, what are you doing with your eyes? <laughs> Opening my eyes. Opening your eyes, very good. Yes. And his eyes were open and yep. he realized that the Bible was talking about Jesus and the good news that Jesus had for everyone. Yes. Well, as they kept going down this road. Because he is road, captain. No. As they kept going down the road, they saw a river. Okay. Yeah. What am I doing in the river? Well, you're not doing swimming? anything. You're not swimming in the river. I need more? No more food! Okay. All right. So the Ethiopian said, what would prevent me from being baptized, being a symbol of a follower of Jesus, from being baptized right now? So they both decided to go down to the river to get baptized. Yes. So he baptized them. Lots of energy. Celery? Needed more food for all this. This is a busy guy. Yes. Now, when I eat celery, I like peanut butter with it. But... Philip, it does not say anything no in the Bible about no peanut butter needed. No. That's extra protein and power. I thought you, Captain Philip, would like the protein power. I should have probably done that. You probably should have yeah. done that. Maybe okay. next time. Maybe All right. next time. But as he came up out of the water, oh yes, the Ethiopian ruler was going back to the chariot, and immediately the angel took Philip, yep. and he just disappeared yep. miraculously. To a different place. So I got power up. You got to power up? What are you going to power up power with now? Power up. So avocado. Took avocado? A big avocado. And he made a smoothie out of it. A he smoothie? He took a big drink. Oh, yes, that's what I'm sure it took. Because then he went, woo, disappear. All right. Well, Miss Star Serini has been a little over the top today about all her food and all this type of stuff. However, Philip was really empowered by the Holy Spirit, and the Spirit was telling him to go do miraculous things in Samaria, then to go to the desert road and meet with the Ethiopian authority and help him learn about Jesus. Then he goes back and tells more and more people about Jesus. So it's amazing to see that with determination and with the Holy Spirit, we have the power to do great and amazing things for Jesus. Now, I think we need to go to our Bible lookup. In our Bible lookup today, we're going to Philippians 4, 13. Now, if we look at this, it says, Hi, Captain Philip, what are you doing now? Just listening to the Bible lookup. All right. So our Bible lookup, Philippians 4, 13, says, I can... I can do all this. Do all this by the power. By the power of Christ. Of food. No, that's not what no, it says. No, it does not say food. It's not apples. It's not oranges. It's not bananas, carrots, celery. All this stuff. No. 
That's good for our physical bodies, but what gives our spiritual body oh, is God. Christ. So let's start this again. I can, Captain Phil, I can. I can. Do all this. Do all this. By the power. By the power. Of Christ. Of Christ. I feel like I might have been a little confused in this lesson. I think you were a little bit confused. Exactly. Now wait, it doesn't just say that. It finishes by saying, he, meaning Jesus. Jesus. Jesus gives me strength. Jesus gives me strength? Jesus gives me strength. It wasn't strength. all this stuff that gave? Well, that gives Phil. our physical body strength, but Jesus oh. gives us the spiritual strength to do all things that we need to do. Mr. Serini better do a little bit more research and find Your out. Your research was not the best today. I However, you did give the kids some excellent examples of things to eat. However, that's really not what our Bible lesson about powering up today was and having determination. The Philip had determination because when he went down that road, he didn't know where he was gonna see, what he was gonna do, and the spirit led him to the Ethiopian authority. So, I think all of us have things in Thanks our life where we hear the Spirit tell us to do things, and we're not exactly sure why, but when we get to the moment, the Spirit's going to be with us, the Holy Spirit's going to tell us and empower us to do exactly what we need to do and be determined to do the right things for God. Love it! I think we should pray. Let's pray! Well, dear Lord, I thank you for your love. I thank you for the example of Philip and how he followed after you. I pray for each one of these kids that they would listen to your Holy Spirit that they would listen and obey, and as they do that, they would do great and mighty things for Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, it's face-off time again. Face-off time! Woo All right, so it's a time we love, and uh, when we're outside, it means we're gonna get messy. Messy! Now, you see the 10 cups in front of us. You can see what's in the cup, but we can't. I'm gonna you, get ready. You're getting ready with your <laughs> poncho? Good played. for you, Miss Darcerini. Yes. All right, and then here we go. So we have five things that relate to our lesson today, and five that don't relate to our lesson. And okay. if you pick one that doesn't relate to our lesson, that's a strike against you. You. Yep. First person to have three strikes loses, and the other person will be, be today's face-off winner. Okay. Are you ready? So you won last time. Yep. So you have to pick first, and I get to dump it over your head. So that's your choice? Yep. Okay, so choice. I want... Which one? So you guys can see what they are, but I can't. Should I do this one? No, I want this one. This one right here? Yep. All right. Yep. Are you ready? I'm ready! So you see what it is? Ah! Oh, no! ah! Pickle juice! Yes! Miss Darcy has one strike against her! <laughs> it smells it so bad! bad. <laughs> Alright, I'd like this one right here. Okay, this one? Yep. Okay, yep. you guys see what it is? <laughs> what is it? Oh, oh no! Boy, are you ready? Yep, come on, do it! Ready? <laughs> yeah! What was it? <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Woo! It was the ruler! Alright, so the okay. Ethiopi Ethiopian I ruler. I want this one. You want this one? Alright, here we go. Ah! Here we go! I'm going! Ah! <laughs> it's the mystery one! What was that? We don't know! <laughs> what is that? What is oh, that? It smells, oh, it's, oh, a, oh, it's bath a bath bomb! bomb. Oh, man! How many Whew. ice skates? All right, you smell beautiful! <laughs> All right, so I get to pick one for me. Wait I'm a gonna minute. Go. How many more till I lose? If you get one more, you're oh, gonna lose. All no. right, I'm gonna go with this one right okay. down here. This better be yep. bad. Oh, no. Ready? Yep. Oh! <laughs> oh no! It's the honey! Oh! Oh, it's applesauce! <laughs> it's applesauce! <laughs> okay! <laughs> We're still in it! <laughs> Alright, I have one. Oh, the Darcy Ms. Darcy food. has two. Alright, Miss Darcy. Okay, I want this one. This one right here? Yep. Alright, are you ready? I'm ready! One, two, three. Oh! Oh, it's yes! It's the river! So it's the, the Ethiopian got okay. baptized Which in the one? river. I want this one right here. Okay, ready? Yep. Nothing! All right, what was it? Desert Road. Desert Road, road. all right. Which one do you want, Miss Darcy? Not There's only really four good. left. The last one. This one right here? Okay, yep. you ready? Yep, yep. One, <laughs> two, three. Oh. Oh. All right, it was still up. <laughs> all right. Okay, which one? This one! Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything in there? Oh yeah, there is! Oh no! no. <laughs> uh, this must be the honey. <laughs> it's tied! 
Oh, tied two to two. Oh, There's no. only two left. You have to get. Are they both I have bad? honey running down. No, one's good and one's bad. Okay, guys. Go, roll all these Darcy Pants out there. All right, which one do you want? I want this one. What is this hanging right here? <laughs> Come one? on. Come on. Are you ready? I don't know. One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> no! Mr. Chris wins again! She got the flower! And the last one was the chariot oh, that the Ethiopian rode in. No! Alright, Mr. Chris wins. Good job, Miss Darcy! Good job! <laughs> this is nasty! <sighs> So meatloaf moment for today, every superhero has a sidekick, and we thought you'd like to see this sidekick with their superhero. totally forgot about the challenge for the kids today, and Miss Darcy's not here, Have and no I'm not sure what to do! Oh, and no! And Philip is here! Oh, great, Captain Philip's here. <laughs> well, do you have any great ideas, Captain Philip? I do. For the challenge for I the do. kids this week? Yeah. So, I was back there eating my orange. You were back there eating your orange. And you, Powering up. And you had a great idea, I bet. I, I had a great idea. Yep. I know one of your superhero skills is juggling. Juggling, yeah. So, how long can Pastor Chris juggle three oranges? Now, to prove to you it is a super skill, let's see it juggle just for a little sneak peek. All right. So, your challenge will be how long can he juggle three oranges? All right, Ready? you want to see something really miraculous? If Miss Darcy could juggle three oranges, let's see you juggle three oranges first. No problem. Are you ready? Yep. All right, ready? Set. <laughs> see that? Woo! Amazing. Yeah, amazing. All right, so I think this is what you're talking about, right? Yep. Yeah. All right, there we go. I actually can do that. Just didn't want to make you look like you couldn't. <laughs> Bye, everybody! Have a great day!